Live to Zaina Hodder, who's on the outskirts of Surt on those front lines there. Tell us what you've been seeing and hearing today, Zaina. Well, a relative lull in the fighting. It isn't an active front as we actually witnessed yesterday. And as you mentioned earlier, anti Qaddafi fighters really heavily pounded Sirte city center all through yesterday. But now it is relatively quiet. As you can see, the weather is bad. There's a sandstorm, so visibility is low. Yesterday, from where we are, we were, we are actually standing. We were able to see um, the strongholds of the Qaddafi loyalists inside Sirte, like the Ragadugu Conference center and the neighborhood known as Giza, the Mauritanian neighborhood is what it is called, where anti qaddafi fighters believe um, mercenaries are holed up. Now they pounded the city yesterday, but sniper fire really slowed their advance. They are now at the perimeter of uh, Ouagadougou Conference Hall, but they haven't been able to reach the city center just a few kilometers behind us. So this is proving to be a very difficult battle. Commanders were very confident yesterday that this major assault will actually put an end to this war and that they'll be able to take control of Gaddafi's hometown. Uh, but so far, they haven't made much progress. So Sirte Zayna is essentially locked down. It's on the coast. NTC fighters coming in from west, east and south, I guess. It, is it no one in, no one out? Well, yes, anti qaddafi fighters have actually surrounded the city. They've surrounded the city for some time now. I'm not sure if you can actually see the vehicles behind me. Uh, hundreds of vehicles, uh, rocket launchers, tanks, they're all uh, uh, surrounding this, you know, small area, the center, the city center of Sirte, where the Qaddafi loyalists are holed up. Now, they are advancing from three directions, the south, where we are, as, and as well as the east and the west. But according to commanders on the ground, um, there is a strong Qaddafi force inside Sirte. Sirte um, is where Qaddafi enjoys support from the local population, unlike in other areas when we saw anti-Qaddafi fighters actually push into the city, they received help from within. So people inside that city are uh, supporters of Qaddafi. They really received a lot of privileged status um, during his regime. They were given jobs, development, and we saw a few families manage to leave this morning. Thousands have already left. Um, but some of them really do not shy away from the fact that they support Qaddafi and they actually blame NATO and they blame the anti-Qaddafi fighters for shelling their city and causing casualties. So it's a strong enough force that you talk about. Uh, this is the Gaddafi loyalist force inside the city, Zaina, which means that the NTC feels it can't actually take the country forward without cert. Exactly, because it is largely a symbolic battle at the same time. This is Qaddafi's hometown. It was his political bastion. He even made it the second capital of, uh, of, of, of uh, Libya. Um, the conference hall, their stronghold, the Bagadugu Conference Hall, that is where he used to receive foreign dignitaries and world leaders, launch the African Union. So it has a lot of symbolic meaning for the people here. And there's also a question of national reconciliation, because at the end of the day, I've spoken to some people who are Qaddafi loyalists. So some of them are too scared to speak on camera. Mm. But what they tell you is that we believe Libya is heading towards a dark tunnel. And what they say is that how do we know all these fighters are going to lay their down their arms one day and there won't be political infighting so these Qaddafi loyalists are still worried about the future of their country so there's a lot of reconciliation that needs to be that, that they have to deal with nas uh, national reconciliation and they can't do that until they're able to you know free cert and you know start the whole process great stuff from Zaina Hoda live from the outskirts of cert as that battle continues in Libya thanks Zaina